Thank you HubSpot for sponsoring this video. Hey everyone, this is Lucy and I'm here today in London for Cloud Expo Europe. There's going to be over 15,000 attendees over the next two days with over 200 hours of tech talk sessions. I'm also fortunate enough to be a speaker where I'll be providing a beginner's guide of building generative AI applications in the cloud. All right, let's head in now. There's actually quite a few different events running. You can actually see that there's data center world, there's big data and AI world, cloud and cyber, DevOps Live, and Cloud Expo Europe. This is the panel I'm going to be on today. It's called Innovation Through the Power of Inclusivity and Diversity. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Lucy and I'm a full-time YouTuber uh, slash online content creator. So I'm originally based in Australia, but it's my first time visiting London and Europe in general. So I'm really excited to be here and talking about this specific topic because it's definitely something that I'm quite passionate about. What is your name, your role, and how long have you been working in tech? Yeah, my name is uh, Joshua Gupta. I'm an account executive, so I'm a sales rep here at GitLab. I've been working in tech for coming up to four and a half years now. So my name is Floria. I work in the global research department at HSBC, and I'm a data scientist. I've been working in this role for just under a year. Hey, my name is Yuning, and um, I'm actually a data scientist from a bank. And uh, I've been in this career for uh, one and a half years, so I basically just started. Um, I'm Paul, I'm a DevOps consultant and about 15 years now. So what brings you here to Texture London? Um, I'm here for all the cybersecurity stuff today. So I work with large language models and NLP, so I've been doing my rounds around the uh, AI booths. Alright, so one question I have is what advice do you have for people who are looking to get into tech? Really leverage what you can in learning, whether that be like free courses on technologies like AI or cloud and go and network, go on LinkedIn, go and speak to people in tech. Just take ownership of like absolutely everything, find any part of technology that you're using and try and find a way to get involved with it and just try and automate your way out of a job everywhere you go and companies will love you. So I would say uh, don't be scared because I feel like there's quite a lot of misconception on tech that it's like something super hard and you know just take the risk and be open-minded to learn because the learning curve is steep but if you're willing to take that then I think just don't be scared yeah. Are there any tech trends you see that would be more prevalent in 2024? Yeah so I think AI is obviously here to stay that the buzzword that's going around uh, that's going to really amplify now as software companies start to adopt that. Apparently AI everyone is trying to get into this sector because I work in AI and I work with LLMs, I would personally say it's that. Me too, I think AI is definitely one of the hot topics this year. Now, if you're looking to stay ahead in this AI-driven landscape and grow your career, HubSpot has created a perfect resource to help you out. They've put together a free guide called How to Land a Job Using AI, which is packed with actionable tips on using AI tools to elevate your job search and career growth. From optimizing your resume with AI tools, enhancing your LinkedIn profile, to even preparing for AI-powered interviews, this guide is designed to give you a competitive edge. My favorite section, personally, is the 20 AI tools for job seekers. These are tools I would which I had when I was first starting out in my career, especially the job matching ones that use AI to match job seekers with the best openings. I recommend you check it out for yourselves and start using AI to boost your career prospects. Just click on the link in the description below. Lucy's trying her crepe. Mm -hmm. 
What's the rating out of 10? 10. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to test my luck and see which key can unlock this lock. <laughs> <laughs> and it's an absolute pleasure to be here on stage at Cloud Expo Europe. Today we're going to be diving into an exciting area at the intersection of cloud computing and AI. Specifically, how generative AI is transforming what we can do in the cloud. I just wrapped up the session uh, and I actually bumped into two Tech with Lucy subscribers. So thanks for coming up and saying hi. Um, I just wanted to ask, what brought you here to Tech Show London? Um, I came here because I just wanted to get more insights into DevOps. Yeah, I mean, it's just an opportunity to see all the different stuff that's coming out. For me, it's all around the DevSecOps stuff. Um, uh, we came here to connect with current customers and then as well, obviously, to speak to new potential customers. And we had so far very interesting conversations, people really seeing the need of upskilling their current tech workforce. What would you say is the biggest tech trend for 2024? There are, I think, two out there. One is AI, which everybody obviously talks about, and then the other one is definitely still cloud. A lot of conversations around how can I get from on-prem to cloud, what are the benefits, how can I safely navigate the environment, how can I decrease my costs, um, etc. Bumped into a few subscribers and had a few people come up to say hi to me, which I'm very grateful for. So since you're both on your cloud learning journeys, what advice would you have for others who are looking to learn cloud computing and AWS? Yeah. Talk about myself. I'm currently looking to get a certification of AWS Cloud Practitioner, and I do recommend watching Tech with Lucy videos because it's really informative uh, to build up a cloud project and put them into the CV and get a cloud jobs. All right, we're done. The two days of the conference are over. Uh, it's a bit cold and windy outside, but the sky's cleared up, so nice weather. And I'm looking forward to exploring some of Europe over the next few weeks. Thanks for tuning in to the vlog and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.